Hey guys, I'm Shelly. Welcome to Repurpose My Way. Glad you stopped by. Uh, I'm going to be doing some crafts today. I have some of these uh, casserole trays that I got um, at Goodwill just a few days ago and I thought that I would redo them. Uh, I want to put some bottoms on them and then stain them or paint them up depending. I think I'm going to do a little something different with each. I'm going to use this one board. Uh, this is 24 inches long. Should be plenty long enough to do the bottoms of both of these. I just need to kind of get some measurements, cut it out, do some rounding off on the edges on this one because it's more of a round edge um, and I don't want it sticking out too far. And then this one is square. So I'll need to round it a little bit to fit it in um, in here. So it's not going to fit, you know, probably have a little bit of a hole there, but I think it'll be okay. Uh, I'm just going to do some finagling, sanding, and uh, cutting, and we'll we'll figure it out. But anyway, I thought you guys might like to see me repurpose these into trays. So stick around if you want to see it. There. I went on the inside of the the metal. That way I can get an idea of what I want to do. So I'm going to cut on the inside so that way it's a little bit smaller than what my um, my tray will hold. And then uh, that should work for that. And then I should have enough left over, I think, to um, do this part as well. But I'm going to get my jigsaw and I'm going to cut out uh, the inside of this and we'll see what happens. And I'm just gonna go along the bottom. See if I can follow the curves. I've got them uh, cut and sanded, rounded off all the edges fit them in. This one's got a little bit of a play around the edge, but it's okay. I don't mind. And then this one I've already started, but I did the same, cut it out, sanded it down. And uh, because it had these braces up here that came down from the handle, um, I had to cut into the wood so that this would fit down in. I wanted it to fit in nicely and outline this whole outside piece and if I cut it down anymore it would have been such a small tray and I want it to be a nice chunky tray so what I'm doing is I've done this side I'm taking plastic wood all-purpose wood filler those are pretty big holes but it's not not terrible and I'm just going in and filling in the crack So I'm going to start with the small tray and I was just showing you I'm using my Waverly Antique Wax. I watered it down with a little bit of water uh, and I'm using that as like a stain on my board. So I went all over the board and I wiped it back and then I went over the board again just to give it a little bit of a darker tone. I really should have added a little bit more antique wax to it to make it a little bit darker but it actually wasn't too bad. Um, at the end of it, it was fine. At this point, I'm thinking I may uh, dry brush over it, which is actually what I do um, at the end of it, is do a little dry brush of white over it anyway. So it didn't really matter. It came out, it's a, it's a pretty color anyway. I'm using my Waverly Antique wax again watered down and I'm staining this board that uh, is going to be my bottom for my tray and realizing as I'm staining it that the putty parts um, aren't blending in the way I wanted them to they pop out really badly uh, and I don't like the looks of it and I was going to leave it this regular stained color and uh, do a little stenciling, stenciling over it but I changed my mind after seeing this and decided that 
I was going to go ahead and probably use some Waverly white chalk paint over it and give it a white bottom instead and then just dress back. So I would have done this step anyway, even if uh, I wasn't going to paint it the white. Um, I, if I, when I distress it back a little bit, I'm going to want to distress back to the stain, not the raw wood. So that's why I would do it this way first. So here I'm using my Waverly White chalk paint and doing a coat of white over the stain and boy am I making a mess. <laughs> As I'm painting I'm trying to be careful but I realize that I'm hitting the edges with my uh, paintbrush and it's leaving white everywhere. So later on, I didn't get any video of it, but later on um, I went back and had to just take a wet cloth and wipe along the whole thing and kind of scrape and get that white paint off because I didn't want it on there. I wanted the black. But anyway, um, I did two coats on this and I also did the handles as well. I took them off. As you can see, I took them off here and um, I wanted to paint the ends so they're standing up in the paper plate so that I can paint the ends and I'm using a wet cloth and just a little bit going over the chalk paint and distressing back a few spots here and there. So here I'm taking uh, some ribbon that I got at Hobby Lobby and I'm going along the edge uh, that's why I didn't paint the white on the edge because I knew that I was going to put this down and around and I thought this would finish it off nicely and look really neat along all the, the, um, all around the bottom. Here I'm taking my antique wax, uh, watered down again and going over, uh, my handles of my tray and just antiquing it, aging it, giving it a nice uh, sealed base on top. So if it's handled a lot, it'll be easier to clean. Uh, I end up doing that on the bottom of the tray as well to um, give that a nice uh, seal as well with it. Um, and I also like the darker color. I thought it looked really nice and antiqued. <laughs> So this one's my smaller tray and I took out the piece of wood and decided that I was going to do a dry brush of the white Waverly chalk paint all over the metal part and make the rest of that pop to just make it jump right out at you. And I think it really makes it do that. Um, especially uh, at the end, you'll see that I take some of the Waverly uh, antique wax, the watered down cup that I had, and I also, there we go, right there. Um, I go over it and just brush it on and darken it up and antique, make it look antique. And I really like how that came out and um, I hope you like guys like it too and in just a second you guys will see the finished products let me know what you think
guys like my repurposed casserole trays and um, in the comments down below let me let me know which one you like the best I really appreciate appreciate you stopping by uh, like share subscribe and have a great day thanks